Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture from March the 13th of 2020, well, it is titled Starry Night by Jean-Francois Millet. So what do we see here? Well, this not a photograph of the sky, but a painting from a, taken around 1850 and made by the French artist uh, who was Jean-Francois Millet. And a nice dark image here showing many stars in the sky and what looks like or may be portions of the Milky Way where it's a little bit fuzzier patches stretching across the sky and arcing across the sky. And in addition, a couple of shooting stars put there. Shooting stars, also uh, called meteors, are small bits of material, generally bits of a comet or small pieces of an asteroid that have been broken off of their parent body and left behind in the orbit. And as they continue to orbit, then they can sometimes cross the Earth's orbit. And should they strike the Earth's atmosphere, these small bits of material will hit the atmosphere at tens of thousands of miles per hour. And the intense energy of their hitting the atmosphere will cause them to burn up upon re-entry. Now, if you've ever watched a rocket uh, coming back to Earth, it will have it has a heat shield to protect it and to protect astronauts from within from being uh, injured or killed by the intense heat of re-entry. So normally that would cause things to break apart. However, the uh, small pieces here will not have any such thing and no such heat shield to protect them. So they will vaporize themselves, turning into just even smaller particles of dust and then never making it down to the surface of the Earth. So Millet has actually captured a couple of those here uh, within the uh, image that is seen. Also interesting is if you look a little bit to the right of center and to the right of the two meteor trails, you see three stars in a line, which actually resembles very closely the stars in the belt of Orion. So maybe looking at part of that uh, constellation that was painted here. And depending on how you look at the other patterns, you may be able to make out some, some others as well. So it looks like you may be able to see, or at least to represent, uh, the three prominent stars in the belt of Orion. And in addition, in the image, able to see, uh, he painted in a couple of meteors, and perhaps even parts of our own Milky Way galaxy, in addition to the entire starry night scene uh, with the scenery in the foreground. So that was our picture of the day for March the 13th of 2020. It was titled Starry Night by Jean-Francois Millet. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be pie in the sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.